The American criminal justice system affects people from every walk of life almost. Newsy has partnered with The Marshall Project to bring you a series of stories about the criminal justice system and how it impacts average Americans. Tonight, we hear the story of what happened to Eric Garner through his daughter, Erica. I was a daddy's girl. Everything that my dad taught me, you have to be a leader, you have to lead by example. Now I understand why he was telling me all these things growing up. I just miss him a lot. I do. My name is Erica Garner. My dad was Eric Garner. Um, he died on the streets of Staten Island. My sister calls. And it was a shock because that was the in the middle of the day. Like, what are you calling me for? So she's like, oh, my God, Erica, you know, I just got some um, bad news. I don't know. Mom is uh, hysterical. She's crying. She's just yelling out that he stopped breathing. I'm like, who stopped breathing? You know, he's talking about daddy, daddy. I said to my coworker, I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Um, I, my dad stopped breathing. As we're driving out there, we see news vans and police tape around the area. A news reporter from Daily News said that there is a video. And my brother, I don't know, he disappeared. He went in the back and got on the computer and looked it up. Which way does it matter because you said I did it, I did it? No, I did it. No bad, no bad, no bad. I didn't show anything. My brother just screamed out. He was like, y'all, come look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> All I can hear is my mom screaming. I was just yelling at the screen, like, get off of him. That's like, stop it. My head was spinning. I was hot, throwing up. That's how we uh, found out. Me and my family were sitting around just looking at the TV. And the decision came down. Everyone was, I just was stoned. I had a stoned look. My mom was crying. My sister was crying. And, you know, we all left each other to go home. On the ride across the bridge, the cab driver got upset. He was like, these damn protesters. And I'm like, what protesters where? That's when I seen, I guess there had to be a million people outside. They screaming out Eric Garner. I stood out the window and I was like, thank you. I'm Eric Garner's daughter. They surrounded the car and was like, we love you. We doing this for you guys. It felt like, wow. Like, in my saddest moment, where I didn't know how to feel, and I seen all these people out here for my dad, that just made me feel empowered in a way. Erica Garner died last weekend after an asthma-induced heart attack, just 27 years old. Tonight, around the country, vigils are being held in several cities.